Hey guys, in this video we are continuing the PIC microcontroller assembly program and tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can control an LED with a push button. So stick around guys, and I'm going to show you how it was done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Hi guys, so welcome back. In this tutorial series, we're continuing with programming the PIC microcontroller using the PIC AS assembler, which is a new assembler that replaces MPASM for microchip. Now in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at using the LED with a push button. I just want to say thank you guys for your support. The last video got over 4,000 views and I really didn't expect that. So thanks very much for your support. And I really didn't plan to do much more in the series, but considering the overwhelming support from you guys and I've been getting requests to continue the series, I thought I'd continue. So let's get started. Our program is the same like before. You know that will be the skeleton which is the baseline for working with the PIC AS assembler. So we have here different parts of our code. We have a main section that sets up our device. So we set the push button to an input. We do that by ensuring that our port B bit 0 is set as an input. Then what we do is we make sure and disable the analog functionality of that pin. We also set the LED as an output for our device. Now once that is done, we enter into our main loop. Within the main loop, we determine if the switch is pressed. Now once the switch is pressed, we turn the LED on. If the switch is not pressed, we turn the LED off and this loop continues forever. Now, and some instructions you'll see here is the bit test file skip if clear instruction. This is the instruction that actually tests the state of the push button. And once it is clear or it is set, then the program will know whether we must turn the LED on or we must turn the LED off. You'll also notice this BRA instruction. This is the branch instruction. And what this does is it disrupts the program flow and allows us to go to another subroutine within the program. So this is the basic program and it works. Now if you're wondering where I got these examples from, I'm actually using all these examples from the Picket Tree Starters Guide which is where I cut my teeth on assembly. Um, you know I used assembly before but you know the starters um, the status guide was really instrumental in helping with a lot of the stuff that I didn't understand when I first got started with assembly language programming on the PIC. So there's also a PIC 2 um, status guide that I also got started with so you know you can check those resources out. So that's it guys. In the other videos I hope to be covering um, stuff like pulse width modulation and you know some of the stuff you have been asking for. So stay tuned and keep safe.